Hi guys, this is Charles and I'm one of the surgeons at Southpaws. Um, and hello, Terry McCormick. Um, see that you've just logged in and that you are a member of our Vet Dojo community. Anyway, so this is the patient that I did a myelogram on and you guys saw the video before. Um, this is the post myelogram CT scan. Um, and I'm just gonna review the findings on this. So this is the, the brain here coming into, so that's the um, tentorum cerebelli right there. And so this is where the cerebellum would be, and then heading caudally. Uh, this is the skull, so this is kind of frame and magnum right here. And this is C1 back here. As we head caudally, you can start seeing myelographic contrast, starting just at the brain stem, um, or just at the frame and magnum, which is ideal. Now, which means that we're less likely to have seizure activity. This is the dens sitting right here. Um, and then heading back, you can see myelographic contrast that's surrounding the spinal cord. This is C2 right here. And so this, uh, C2 has this typical triangular kind of isosceles triangle appearance uh, with a very prominent spinous process. And then we head caudally. This is going to be C2, I'm mean, sorry, C3 and we can see good myelographic contrast dorsal to the spinal cord. Heading caudally, uh, these, are, these little pitting areas near the uh, vertebral end plate are actually fairly normal. We see these frequently in dogs. Um, heading back further, still all normal. And then right here we see compression of the spinal cord at C5-6. Now we can tell that it's C6 right there because of the very prominent transverse processes and that's a very good surgical landmark that we use uh, in the theater to find out what site we're operating on. So this is C5 here, you see the transverse processes and then compared to C6 here, they're very prominent. You can actually palpate, palpate those percutaneously. Um, so that is a right-sided uh, cervical disc rupture at C5-6, that's C7 there, and then T1, you can see the ribs coming into the first thoracic vertebrae. So just to review, we'll go all the way back to the, up to the other end. We have the frame and magnum here. C1, start seeing myelographic contrast there. We head back into C2, which has that classic triangular shape. C3, four, five, and then at five, six, we have compression of the spinal cord right there. Um, and then that's C6 with the very prominent transverse processes, and then C7 and then T1 with the first uh, ribs, so thoracic vertebrae with the first ribs. So unfortunately, these clients decided not to go to surgery despite the fact that we had an obvious uh, cervical disc rupture. I think that he would do much better with surgery than with conservative management, but they've elected to go conservative at this time. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again soon.